Hello, this is Genosis with episode 7 of Metropolis. Alright, something I know is a bit of an issue. I don't have Ben listed on my side, but he's... Or Ben, or Baker, or Brian, who the hell this guy is. Um, but he's not on... Whoop, he's not on my list. There you go. Um, follow me? Okay, he's on my bar now. So, here's the problem. How do I get him upstairs or in a shooting location? If I can get him up here, then that'd be great. So, can you... Can you get up here, Baker? Ben? Ben? Can you get up? Ben, okay, if I'm over here, Ben, can you get to me? What if I go to the roof? Would you, like, magically pop onto the roof? Because that would be convenient, and then I can walk you down. Um, this could be a problem. Now, another trick I've been told is that if you get onto a vehicle, and... Here, yeah, like a vehicle. Then, if you get back off... Ah, okay. All right, so we're gonna have to do that from now on. Okay, Ben, follow me. I'm gonna try to find a spot for you to be useful. Uh, ben, where'd you go? Ben? Oh, no, 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 no. Um, you're not after that, are you, Ben? Okay, you know what? Screw that. I'm just gonna take care of him, because I know he's gonna be a problem anyways. Okay, got him. But, uh, Ben's down there now. Okay, that's kind of a problem again. All right, so, bike. ba 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 Okay, now, Baker... Follow me. This I know this is going to be... This is going to kill me. I know. I just know it. Okay, so maybe if he just stands, like, here, he could probably shoot at them. Okay, so... Oh, wait. Stand where I am standing. Okay. You can go do that. Or are you just going to be in my way? Can you do that for me? Um... Alright, so I, th I think that'll work. Shooting able to shoot down from there. We'll, we'll find out for sure later. But hopefully you just stay where you're standing, and you stay there for good. All right, all that aside, let's uh, take a look at some requests this morning. Um, now, here's a problem. I did create a mini bike, but I didn't stay in the inventory. So we can use a tactic that has been spread out, spread throughout the uh, the comments. Uh, fill up our output full of something, and then start crafting there, so that we can spend a couple minutes away, come back, and we'll still get credit. So yes, yeah, so many thanks to the comments for making that suggestion. That's going to help us a lot. All right, I believe I just have a few th things to take care of before we go. I need some food. And I, I hope I have some... Yeah, I have some stuff I can cook. But I don't have any of the stuff to get quests completed. Like, I don't have enough eggs to get those done. So we're just going to have to resort to, I don't know, boiling some meat or frying some meat, I guess. All right, meat's all cooked up. And hopefully there should be enough time for one of these things to be ready. So, bam. Okay, so we got credit for the handlebars. Now, just another minute, and we'll get that. So, yeah, that's a nifty trick. I wish it wasn't necessary, because that feels like there, there could have been another way. Uh, I believe Apocalypse Now only had possession quest credit. I know that it doesn't make it as easy and doesn't teach you how to craft things, but at least it doesn't waste tons of resources. Speaking of a waste, we're... I don't know. I could probably sell... Yeah, I could just sell the stuff instead of keeping a... a you know, a spare bike around. I think it's upstairs. I'll make sure I grab that. But, I mean, you could have a spare mini bike just in case something bad happens. But ideally, I won't need that. And by the time uh, I do need that, I'll have a better vehicle and the mini bike will be my spare. Ah, there's our credit. Okay, so now we have the mini bike chassis. Okay, now we actually do have to craft the mini bike. So, uh, wheels. Uh, what do we need for that? Got the acid. Forged iron. You know what? I need to do some. Um, hold on. It, ah weird placement there. I need to get some iron somewhere. Now, there's no... Well... I don't know. Maybe if I started digging somewhere, I could find some, but that seems smarter. Maybe just do some wrenching and stuff like that to get some parts. I mean, like this, for example. I could wrench this apart and maybe get some iron. Okay, that came apart nicely. Actually, now that I realize, I, not that I think about it, I am going to need to have an engine and a battery anyway. So let's spend a, just a little bit of the morning driving around, driving around, and take care of some vehicles. Because if I can get a battery and a uh, what do you call it, uh, engine, then hopefully during that process I will have enough iron to you know actually craft the damn thing. Oh, there's our engine. So that's uh. One part, so just need a battery. And yeah, the iron I'm getting is fairly decent. Look at that. Oh, a couple hundred iron already. I know it's not like, uh, you know, mining, but uh, it's it's something. It's what we have right now. You know, as I'm taking this car apart, I realize I have not been in here yet, which is just damned criminal. Like, there's a bookstore I haven't been in yet. So uh, let's get our fancy steel spear. And, uh, okay, all right. Try to get some schematics out here. I guess we can start by doing a clear. 
and uh, taking care of all these, uh, oh, come on, ah, take care of all these zombies before I start uh, going into a book, book rage. Just about got the clear. Just gotta get the uh, surprise party. Oh, there we go. Oh, whoa, this guy's already drunk. I get the surprise party taken care of, and then we can start looting. Yep, I knew someone was behind me. Okay, let's go. And the finish. You know, I gotta say, the throwing the spear thing is, I know, it's, uh, it's a sore spot for a lot of people. They don't like it. But you gotta know, it's it's kind of a nice, satisfying finish, you know? Nothing's better than a nice, satisfying finish. Okay, where's my wife when you need her? All right, I think I got all the books. Um, I followed a pretty, uh, pretty strict pattern, so I'm fairly certain I got all of them. It's a quick spot check, because here's a segment I didn't miss. I sometimes miss the ones on the end, because they're completely random if they're there. Okay, yeah, I think we got them all. All right, let's take a look at our stash here. Uh, quick sort. So we got uh, scrap, we got some brawling. I'll just learn it. Batter up, batter up again. Ooh, uh, coffee seed, love that. Double barrel shotgun, don't mind if I do. Ergonomic grip, I'll learn. Uh, knife, why not? Hunter rifle, I think we know that, but now we do. Uh, brass knuckles, ooh, iron spear, that's a good one. So, I mean, I might make a better, better spear than my steel one here, but who knows. Uh, tools, uh, coat, scrap, needle, and thread for double pocket mods. That's a good one. Uh, pon poncho schematic, really? All right. Uh, more stuff I already know. Ooh, spear hunter. Uh, dynamite. Remember blade. Tungsten arrowhead. Interesting. Um, scrap, 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 and SMG auto turret, which is, uh, that's a nice one. Um, yeah, I mean, that was a good haul. Pretty darn good haul. No compliance, but not done yet. So I'm going to head out to the uh, the stash at the end. And actually, you know, may as well take apart this uh, vending machine while I'm at it. Get a little bit of extra resources, but then, yeah, head to the roof. And while I'm taking this apart, uh, this, I believe, is the first potential random day that it could be hoard. So there's no warning. Usually at 8, well, there's a warning you can select either be morning or um, afternoon or evening or something like that. But I set it to no warning. And the only clue is going to be around 6 p.m., so 1,800 hours, if there's some uh, thunder in the sky. If you hear that, and it's not already raining, then it's a pretty clear indication that it's going to be horrid. So we got to uh, pay attention to the time. Uh, who goes there? Yeah, we got to pay attention to the time and be prepared. But uh, to that end, yes, I need to actually update... Why am I hearing those moans? I really got to update that base. Uh, make you know, make some repairs and make some additions. Uh, maybe even try a cool trick and put some wood on the floor and uh, maybe start a fire and see uh, just burn everybody. I mean, it was uh, being mentioned in the comments to try that, and I, I kind of want to. All right, safe opened with uh, cash and a nugget and a liner mod. Uh, I might actually have slots available. Modify. Now I don't really need. You know, cold resist, but explosion resistance, um, you know, <laughs> especially after playing Apocalypse now, I kind of appreciate explosion resistance. All right, this segment has been looted and gathered. Yeah, uh, the uh, those crates, those boxes, pretty good sources of uh, random resources. Same with garbages. And I'm really trying to find those uh, sewing kits. Those are kind of kind of be anywhere. I was a little disappointed I didn't get them out of the uh, clothing area. Okay, so we're on the roof. Let's see if I can uh, do some sneakies here. Wouldn't mind a better bow sometime. Oh, bird! Oh, almost got me. I didn't see him there for a second. I was like looking, I didn't see him, and just popped out of somewhere. 
Alright, almost got the last of these guys. Alright, uh, got a weird item I just looted a second ago. Uh, Machapi toy. So it's a, I guess, Machapi. Machapi? Huh. Alright. Uh, Australian fan. Oh, uh, action skill, fest weapons. Mm. I don't see myself using that, so I might just sell it or something. Now, is there a doggo in here? There usually, usually is. Doggo! Doggo! Ow, oh, doggo's got the jump on me. No, there you go. Ouch. Well, at least I didn't get infected this time. All right, here's the goodies. So let's grab this quickly. Ooh, uh, am I that hungry? I'm that hungry. Awesome. Now, uh, we got a pretty good supply of books already, so that's uh, content with what I have already. But maybe I'll find something I don't already have. No, nothing new in the book department, so that's fine. Ooh, we're getting goodies. HD serrated blade mod. 20% chance to cause bleeding damage. Can we put that on a spear? Sounds like a, a thing I'd like on my spear. Um, oh, there we go. Yes. See, adding some bleed damage would just be fantastic. Um, wait, is that another pistol I got? When did I get that? It's not better, but okay. All right, it's a spare pistol, I guess. Oh, I can scrap that for parts, can I? Can I scrap that for parts? Yes, I can. All right, I'll let that scrap. All right, oh, another bookstore box I missed. Uh, brawling, brawling. Purifying water. Not too shabby. Oh, bow parts. Those are handy. All right, I think we're done. So, uh, yeah, I probably should skedaddle, finish up my my task of getting that quest done. And, uh, yeah, start looking at the horde. What is that? Vultures? Perfect. All right, off I go. Uh, I might have enough. I think I just need a battery now. So I'm going to zip around the town just a little more and try to find that missing battery. And then, I'll, then we'll be all set. Oh, there's a supply drop. Uh, I just stopped for a second to check my skills, because I haven't looked at them in a while. Um, there's got to be some things I am I can buy that I don't have yet. So, Minor 69er. Mm, I don't see anything quite yet. Yeah, there's really nothing at all here that I'd, I'd care to make. So, we're going to ignore that for now. I was hoping there was a... Oh! Uh, ooh, there's a horde. Um, okay! Nice. That was a... Uh, yeah, this spear is a heck of a lot better <laughs> than that, that, was, that uh, stone one. That was just cutting through them. And there was a new zombie, a zombie policewoman that I haven't seen before. Uh, what, is, what is this one? Z SWAT zombie. Yeah, I don't think I see that one either. Cool. All right, no battery yet, so uh, gotta continue. Oh, there's a bunch of vehicles in the area, service vehicles. They just take a little longer to take apart. There you go. Little tiny thing. All right, no, uh, no battery yet. I'll keep working on it. Oh, where's my you must spear? Now, there's a good suggestion to have a secondary spear, one for throwing, one for stabbing, which is a good idea, because it might be a bad idea to throw uh, my modded spear around all over the, the place. Just keep, like, an unmodded, like, an iron spear or a spare steel spear or whatever I have on me at the time. So, yeah, it's a good suggestion, so maybe next time I get a chance, I'll try to craft an iron spear and keep that handy. All right, still low engine, but at least there was a... Oh, hold on. That was a battery. I was looking for a battery. That is an HD battery. So maybe that goes into that workbench where there was like different types of batteries that could go in there. Uh, now, where did that supply drop go? Oh, it's on my map. Okay, all right. So 400 and some meters away. I may as well take, away, take apart cars in that direction and uh, make use of my time. There's a lot more of this day than I expected to be spending uh, wrenching vehicles. Uh, I have not found a battery... Quite yet, but now we're here at our supply drop. Just gonna drive past the insane clown posse over here. There we go, supply drop. Give me something good, if you don't mind. Uh, a forge schematic, a potato seed recipe, and a challenge. Okay, let me check out the challenge. That looked to be something different. All right, challenge. Search and find 10. Okay. Find a green crocodile, then go and see your trader for, for your reward. A green crocodile. Huh. Okay, we'll investigate that uh, a little later. Ooh, a battery in this one. 
and a switch schematic and that cool I didn't even have to take it apart yeah yeah no let's just go back home I, I'm already losing enough time as it is let's uh, get that bike crafted and uh, take a look at a horde situation all right just getting back home um, yeah, I, I could take the door, but this ladder leads right into my crafting area and theoretically is faster. Yeah, see, I'm already here. Hey, uh, Ben, nice to meet you. Or again, um, are you going to stay here permanently? Or are you just going to disappear at one point? I hear that you could, or like possibly permanent, but I just don't believe it. All right, so yeah, I'm going to start crafting the two wheels. That's going to take a minute. And let's uh, empty our resources so we have some space. There's some friends. Um going on down here and okay, okay all right, this is a good test so I'm glad this is happening can you guys come over here just um uh, I don't want to use any bullets but arrow, arrows or arrows can you just come over here oh, I wish they'd fix that damn arrow bug it's been there for like since like alpha 17 or something okay come over here can you be shot from that location can you it's not looking like the case um Really? Okay, that's unfortunate. Oh, there we go. All right, what I was thinking about is uh, flattening this area, making it wider. Uh, actually, let's get a, uh, a block. Yeah, if I can do this, it is also going to prevent like spider zombies from, you know, hopping behind me. I think it happened a few times uh, that horde night. So yeah, if I can clear this and uh, spread it out a little bit, I can start placing the NPCs around here, which would be, yeah, just a good use of space. So let's go take a look at our crafting queue. Okay, there's our... Oh! I thought our wheels would have been done by now. Uh, where's the... Okay, I got the wheel right... Oh! Right, cancel! Where did I get that other wheel from? Whatever, it's fine. Just a bike, mini bike. There. A uh, minute and 16 seconds. So while we're uh, waiting, I'm gonna start whacking on this uh, iron bar here. There we go. What does construction level do anyways? I'm curious. Um, ba -ba -ba skills... Uh, action skills, construction. Did I did I see that here? Oh, there it is. Action skills, construction. Bonus block damage, less stamina usage, higher player experience, and faster tool usage. Well, isn't that fancy? Uh, cool. All right. Well, um, gotta, I got to build more, which is unfortunate because I've I kind of dedicated the series to uh, to not building, which is something I always do. But uh, yeah, maybe I'll just. Extend. I think it's uh, maybe the thing I could do. Make this place even bigger. Um, gosh, maybe even knock down part of this wall and have like a bigger row to get the NPCs. Actually, you know, you come here. Um, okay, follow. Mm, I don't know. If I get him to follow me, he might. Okay, hold on. Uh, stay where I'm standing. Are you going to come over? Are you going to move? Maybe you can kind of slowly. Okay. Okay. So then follow. stay where I am standing and then move a little more. Okay. And then I could tell him to, there you go, stay where I'm standing. And I want you to stay right here. Can you do that for me? Just give you, like, give you some space. Go to where you're supposed to be going. Perfect. Look at that. That is beautiful. Oh, is he doing your thing? Are you doing your thing? And do I get experience for it? I, I wondered this. Did you kill her? Yes, but I don't know if I got experience. I didn't see it, but maybe I got it anyways. Uh, there's a mini bike. Finally, motorcycle chassis. Hold on, motorcycle handlebars. Yeah, no, I can't do that. Um, is that maybe something I can learn? Motorcycle. I need to be level 150. <laughs> this is not happening. All right, so uh, I'm gonna do a little bit more work on this base because it's almost eight o'clock. So I'm gonna find out. Well, some cobblestone. I thought I had cobblestone. I'm gonna find out really soon if uh, this is gonna happen. All right, so the platform's all upgraded. Um, yeah, it's about, about as good as I can do for the moment. I thought I had some cement. I could use a little bit of reconstruction. Oh, I only got two cement. Uh, can we make a mixer? Mm, yes, we can. Why am I not doing this? Uh, <laughs> mixer, yes. Now, this isn't one of the stupid things where I'm gonna craft it and I need to craft this part of a quest later. It sounds like something would happen. Hold on, there's, um. oh, okay. It's part of this quest. Repair scrap iron axe, pickaxe, shovel. Okay, hold on. I must have sold my iron hammer because I don't see it here. But I believe I have everything else. So you just need to repair each of these. Scrap iron pickaxe. Um, I guess it's not damaged enough. We can definitely fix that. Oh, um, I hear thunder, but it's raining. 
Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Uh, so it could actually be a horde. Okay, there's the uh, there's the pickaxe. So we don't need that anymore. Okay, the uh, iron axe. Okay, that's done. Shovel. Uh, no, I need to dam damage the shovel a little bit. There we go. The shovel's done. Screwdriver's already a bit damaged. Gotcha. All right, scrap iron hammer. Yeah, I probably sold that. So I don't see it anywhere else around. I right, just need to beat up the hammer a little bit, and we got that quest complete. So the HD, does the HD battery fit? Oh, it does fit in there. Okay, so does it... Okay, there must be another quality battery. I saw a comment comment about that. I just haven't read it yet. Um, that there was a different types of batteries that go in there, so that's what I figured. I'm just not sure what else other than the, uh, oh, I'm battery, um, lead car battery, eco battery, okay, that's probably what that is. Alright, so that should be damaged enough. No, I need iron. Of course we do. Guess we'll take apart these things in here. I've been meaning to do this anyways. Bunch of, uh, random pieces of furniture that don't need to be here. Alright, you should be able to fix the hammer now. Bam. Okay, now it's crafting iron... Okay, I, that's probably going to be level 100 stuff. Oh, level 65. Uh, let's check our buildables. Iron tools, yeah, level 100. So yeah, that's not going to be for a bit. All right, I'm moderately sure Horde is tonight. There's a lot of thunder and lightning, and it's not raining anymore, so it's Horde night. But that's fine. Uh, I don't suppose I can make um, an AK-47, can I? I know I have some machine gun. Uh, that's right, you can make parts. AK-47 machine gun. Okay, I don't have that. Uh, darn it. Uh, do I have a rifle? I can make a hunting rifle. I just need another rifle part. I suppose there's one I could scrap or something. Probably not. All right, I guess we're stuck with the weapons we got. I do have the, uh, the, um, nine millimeter gun I have right now. So that should be good. I think I have some extra 762. There we go. And, oh, I have lots of nine millimeter. 407. Or, actually, and a, and a full, uh, full clip, so I should be good. Alright, so that's happening, and I think we're ready. I just need to uh, do a little bit more sorting and preparation, I think we'll be good to go. Right, we're going to try this uh, fire experiment. Let me just get rid of the whatever's on the floor here. So the notion was to get some, uh, yeah, to get some uh, wooden things on the ground. So I'm going to use some sheets, because I don't want the, any pathing to be screwed up. Oop. Yeah, get some sheets on the ground, and then I think I can upgrade it and it'll just burn longer, from uh, what I've been hearing in the comments anyways. All right, I covered the floor as much as I can. Uh, let's get rid of that scrap iron axe, that's kind of pointless. Now, I don't know if I need to upgrade all the way to the wooden nails, but I uh, will upgrade at least to this point. Yeah, because that's the more, more health that it has on the longer burns. So, yeah, uh, yeah, that's still, still considered wood. Yeah, maybe we'll, add, uh, we'll upgrade to that point. Okay, so apparently I chose incorrectly uh, sheets. <laughs> sheets have very little hit points, like 25 hit points. This, 500. I, I, I made a mistake, so I guess we're going to have to abide by it, and that's going to burn really fast, but these will just burn a lot longer. So that's, uh, that's a shame. Well, I guess it wouldn't take long to take them out because they're so weak. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> oh, that would have been a waste. I'm out of wood, so I'm gonna use up a lot of the wood and nails, which will uh, help. Cause this is probably what a thousand damage. Yeah, that's gonna burn a while. Um, you got this, buddy. Oh, that was beautiful. Um, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy that a lot. Good job. Uh, I'm gonna install a railing if I can. Gosh, I don't have any frames left. Um, shape, cobblestone shapes. Yeah, I'll build some of those. I want to make a railing. Like, right here, if I can. Oh, hold on. Good job, buddy, though. Um, yeah, railing. He should be able to shoot through it. Uh, if I can just figure out how to do shapes again. There we go. There, I've got a railing, so he should be able to shoot that through, through that easily enough. Um, yeah, this is uh, this is it. Ooh, do I have Molotovs? Molotov. Ooh, that's on a workbench. Molotov. Yeah, definitely Horde. Um, what does this take? Am I, what am I using? Empty water jars? Oh, perfect. They make all kinds. All right, we'll uh, wait there for a second. What do I have in my inventory just now? Recog. 
Oh boy. Already starting. This should be uh this should be interesting. Oh, I had some more torches I wanted to put down. Um over there. Maybe another one over here. Yeah, that'll do. Bright enough to see. We good to go, go. Good to go now? Let's go. All right, yeah, they're coming in droves, so let's go check our uh, Molotov situation. Uh, yeah, in my inventory now. There we go. Um, I only have the one for the moment, but that should uh, that should do. Bam! All right, so you're 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 not on fire, are you? I'm a little scared about that. Look at that. Now, is that going to light, light other things on fire? I don't see the wood on fire, so maybe I missed. All right, appears that I missed. Okay, all right, scrap another Molotov. Yep, there we go, got another one. So maybe I should directly hit the wood. Maybe that was my problem. Wow. There. Ooh, wow. That really took took fire. Um, yeah, everyone's being set on fire. Love it. This this might be a strategy now. Uh, for next time, I'm going to make sure everything's upgraded to wooden nails. And it's just going to be a big old fire pit. I wonder if I'm, I don't think I'll get experience for the flame started from, uh, from that. Either way... Uh, Unless I do, and the experience message doesn't appear. Otherwise, I don't think I'm getting credit. But, I mean, at least zombies are dead, and I'm not, right? I mean, that's the whole point. And that's burning a long time. That is that is a cool trick. Uh, I mean, it, even if I don't get experience, at least it softens them up. So I can just go in for the finishing shot. Uh, as long as I can hit them. It's kind of hard to see the, through the flame, so that, I guess, is one detriment. But yeah, they're doing this whole infinite loop thing, which is pretty cool. Level 66, so yeah, experience, still getting experience. But just seemingly for my kills, I maybe I could, could test this. Hold on, character, uh, 866. Okay, I'm not going to do anything for a second. Wait for someone to die that I didn't kill myself. It looks like she died, so 866. Character, yeah, I, I didn't think so. Yeah, so I have to be the one to do the kill. The fire, well, I don't think... Your experience is giving. I don't think you're giving me any experience, which is unfortunate, but is what it is. All right, using a bit of the 762 because uh, I figure the handgun would be a better day-to-day -day weapon, and uh, you know this is the uh, the automatic would be better for a horde night. I was just holding off the 762 until I got a better gun, it's just to make best use of the bullets, but. It, you know, what better use than Horde Knight, so I'm not going to be stingy. You know, it'll, it'll be cool. I'm not sure if they could do this in the AI code, but if the NPCs could avoid targeting a low hit point zombie, like if you're under 25%, choose, ne choose next target. So it gives you the opportunity to do the finishing kill. And if there's only one target in the area that has less than 25%, you the kill. You know, if that could be coded, that would solve that problem. But uh, I, I don't know if there's that kind of option. I haven't looked at the AI code at all. I, uh, I'm just a junior modder. I have not looked into any of that. I'm going to grab another Molotov because I uh, may as well put my own flames down there. Because even though it's been burning a good long time. Wait, 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 wait where's all the Molotovs? Um, where I got one. Am I not getting them unless I'm at the... That's weird. Either case, not a big deal. There's one whenever I need one. There, burn over there so I'll get that experience when you die. That's another... Fresh amount of flames. Oh yeah, that's better. All right, holding up well. I'm gonna grab another Molotov because I, I like the burning. There's another Molotov. So yeah, I just got to come back for each one. But you know what? Okay, let's remove one of those pieces of wood. Just let the let it gather, and I'll just put it back next time we do a quest. Anyone good? There we go. Yeah, so this place is holding up pretty good. Wow, look at all those loot bags. This is uh, so much more loot than usual. So I guess as the game stage goes up, that happens. Wait, are we done? I don't hear any more screams. Oh, no, I hear someone thumping at something. Probably just a stuck zombie somewhere. Oh, there you are. Okay. I think that's it. Let's stay away from the burning wood over there. Let's go get some loot. Ooh, mining. Compact stacks. I like that. Oh! 
you got my back. I appreciate that. All right, so do hold on. I'm just gonna do a quick sort. Everything up until that uh, scrap iron hammer is gonna be new loot. Or after that. And there is so much loot. All this loot spilling down the stairs. And I think I saw a bag or two outside. Uh, they probably died from the fire or something like that. So I'll be sure to grab that as well. Are we full yet? No, we're still looting. Whoa! Excuse me. You two. Where are these guys coming from? Usually when Horde's over, it's kind of done. Probably stuck on some terrain somewhere. Yeah, a couple bags out here. And uh, do a quick perusal around the perimeter. Yeah, no, I think that is everything. All right, let's head up to... Ooh, over here. Here. All right, let's head upstairs and take a look at our stash. All right, so everything after the scrap iron hammer is going to be loot. We just looted. So we got uh, going teas, got some stuff we're going to scrap. Uh, tools that are probably going to be scrapped. A wheel, which is nice. Uh, rewards cards, we'll uh, take that. Uh, some scrap gloves, which looks to be better than what we're wearing. A uh, lot of fragments. Uh, pick. Oh, what's that? A speaker schematic. Oh, whatever. Uh, action skill. Oh, blade weapons. Oh, don't mind that at all. Um, what's this? Medicine. Uh, stealth. Gunpowder. Bundle. Nice. Another reward card. Alright, now the other things. Oh, there's another one. Uh, light armor. These experience cards. 25,000, 50,000. So if you take one of these, you know, 30% cards and then learn those, uh, it gives you that much more of a uh, bonus. So maybe I'll not, I don't know. It's kind of tempted to use it right now because that'll give us an immediate boost, which I'm kind of looking for. I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll stash it away for now when we'll uh, make a decision uh, tomorrow, I guess. All right, level 68. That's, that was a successful night, so I call that whole thing a win. We were in control the entire time. This has been Genosis Episode 7 of Metropolis. If you like what you saw here today, like the video. If you'd like to see some more in the future, consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.